guys, how's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is August 19, 2024, and welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video, and we have a big breaking news red alert. It says here the DNC statement on parameter breach at DNC event. For those of you that missed my uh, breaking news updates video, you may want to check this one out. They took down the fence. All right, so once again, you have these group have just broken through the DNC fence. Now, let me show you some of this stuff here, guys. Give me a second. I don't want to show too much, but uh, it says here you have the group at the DNC are removing the barrier fence piece by peace and there is a statement a statement was released and we're gonna see what's going on here all right guys before I start give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends families and loved ones I appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. I truly apologize about the late videos. Uh, multiple YouTubers uh, were having difficult time uploading videos. It seems like there was some kind of glitch. Don't know, but uh, everything's working fine. And, yeah, so it's stuff happens. But uh, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, let's see what's going on here, guys. Once again, this is a big breaking news happening right now in D.C. So you have demonstrator breached a portion of anti-scale fencing along the DNC outer perimeter near the United Center on August 19. Now, they took down the fence, but then the National Guards came and they put it back up. Now they've taken it down again and they've taken the fence with them. All right, so law enforcement uh, personnel were immediately on scene and contained the situation. At no point was the inner perimeter breached and there was no warning to any protectees. Oh, by the way, just to let you guys know, there's barely anyone in there. They compared uh, the VP and the 4-5. The 4-5 RNC was packed to the limit. The VP is not that packed. Actually, there's more people outside than inside. There's approximately, well, they say almost uh, over 100,000, something like that. So there's more people outside than inside VP uh, DNC. So once again, the National Security uh, plan employs a multi-layer approach, including multiple layers of redundancy, such as the outer perimeter fence, which was erected to prevent entry into the inner perimeter. Once again, you have the uh, Chicago Blue remains unseen and is working to clear the area. All right, so this is the one, this is the statement. Look at all those agencies, <laughs> man. Um, wow. Whew. You have uh, FEMA. They're out there. And yeah, you have uh, multiple agencies out there. i never seen so much security ever in my life. This here is like the biggest one. Guys, they have uh, police on bikes. 12,000. I mean, you got all the... I mean, they're out there. And I feel bad for them because uh, they are getting... Uh, those those groups are going after them. So we need to pray for, for uh, the blue out there. Once again, you have the group um, dismantle a portion of a wire fence outside the DNC in Chicago on Monday and poured into the street, according to a video taken by world reporter Carolina. Excuse me, Carolina. 
So the video appeared to show several uh, groups standing behind joined sections of unscalable, uh, unscalable fence that lined the sidewalk adjacent to the Park 578, a few blocks north of the United Center, where the convention is taking place. Now, guys, this is going to last for like a whole week. All right, just to give you guys an update, it's going to be like almost a whole week stuff here. So many of the demonstrators waved their flags, wore face coverings, and cried chants of free Palestine. Some of the demonstrators could be seen gripping sections of the wire fence and wrenching them back and forth. Some of them hit them with the wooden stick. At one point, one of the demonstrators squeezed through the fence and demanded, are we going are we going or not? Several breached the barriers and gathered in the street. The blue responded, cuffing a few and demanding they leave the secure area. More security and gear later arrived and pushed these group entirely out of the park. As they left, the demonstrator chanted, we'll be back, we'll be stronger. Wow. How many joined the group? The crowd gathered at Union Park, several blocks from the United Center, where the convention is taking place, as group marched to Park 578, the crowd stretched for several city blocks. An organizer and a smaller group of demonstrators fought over what to do when they arrived at the smaller park. In the end, the smaller park of Agitator confronted the Blue while the member of the group moved on. Dig deeper. Uh, okay, we're going to skip that. Let's go on Twitter really quick and see if we can find any more information here. Whoa. That's an army right there. Thousands of the groups march from Union Park. And you guys already know the DNC stuff. Hmm. There is a lot of videos here I'm going to share if you guys want to check it out. We have breaking news. The DNC 2024 empty. To be fair, the real speaker won't start for at least another hour. But that is a lot of empty seats. That is a lot of empty seats. That is a lot of empty seats. You see the uh, size in the upper deck. Again, it won't start, but uh, the first opening from the 4-5, that, that was packed. That was really packed. That was really, really, really packed. Um, trying to see if there's any more updates here, guys. Um, make sure you check out the videos I posted today. All the links will be in the comments box. We have more breaking news. The 4-5 said that he's, he's leaving a spot open in his cabinet for Elon Musk. He wants Elon to work for him. When it comes to, uh, you know, if he wins November, he wants Elon to work for, uh, uh, with him. Give me a second here, guys. Um, so far, this is all the information, but let me just show you this comparison right here. The top one, that's the VP. The bottom one, that's the four or five. 
You see, everything's completely packed. Not one seat empty. That was the opening of the RNC. That is the opening of the DNC. Numbers don't lie. And again, there's proof to back that up. But uh, it's still early, but uh, again, you know, comparing that uh, to the RNC, the RNC was completely packed. There were so many people wanted to come in, but uh, again, it just it didn't happen like that. All right, guys, so it seems like this is all the information. Once again, they are putting out an urgent statement. And I'm going to end it right here. Yeah, this is all the information for now, guys. Uh, I do believe there's going to be some more breaking news tonight. Uh, so buckle up. This, again, this is going to last for like a couple of days. Please pray for the law enforcement. Pray for many people out there. Pray for all of them, even those politicians. Pray for them. All right. So we pray that uh, the Lord be with them and protect them. And again, we need to spread the gospel not uh, start a movement and st striking law enforcement I mean that's not the way you're doing it anyway guys thank you so much for watching again check out the videos I posted today for those of you that want to give a like to Christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.